Smell that? It's time for a swing dance reaction video. No. 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 Yeah! Greetings and salutations. Welcome to Street Smart Swing. My name is Jamin Jackson, also known as the Galactic Swing Dance Umpire! <laughs> and I'm super excited to be scrutinizing another swing dance video today. But first, make sure you subscribe and smash that notification button so you never miss a swing dance reaction video ever again. I'm gonna tell you right now, I haven't seen a lot of Blake and Samantha's dancing. I'm not sure if they are official partners or not. So I'm curious to see what happens in this footage. Do not let your hearts be troubled. I will be telling you the absolute truth about how I feel about this footage. So if you are someone who gets triggered by the truth, this is not the place for you. All right, so let's not waste any time. Ooh, I like this. Uh, whoever's doing the artwork, that's nice. Okay, I was right. Social demo to a live band. <clears throat> Oh, already I like the, the that it's very musical. Yeah, that was nice. <clears throat> this band is clean. Yes. Ah, that was good recovery. <clears throat> ah, oh, that was some clever footwork. Yes! I, I don't get a chance to see a whole lot of dancers who live in like California area. Um, and I know I'm missing out. A lot of people tell me I need to get out there and just spend a week to social dance just in Southern California. And I might just do that. I might just do that. I, I know a lot of times when people talk about like different scenes and uh, different styles, sometimes we make the mistake in saying, oh, they, they have that style. And when I think about it, it's like, they, what do you mean they? Is, does everybody move the exact same way all the time? I, I don't think that's possible 
with all the idiosyncratic natures that we all have, I think there are some derivative styling choices that a lot of people have. And I think it's for the good to help, you know, us as dancers remember where, where people came from and kind of where the influences developed. I think that's really healthy um, just to see how communities blossom. I, I can definitely tell you my teachers and what I learned from them and some of the things I still hang on to this day. But in this case, um, I don't know a whole lot about the scene in California. I know a lot more about the history, but not in a modern sense of what dancers are doing. And watching it, these two dancers, I can tell some of the stylistic influences from a lot of the people who dance out there in that region. And I don't think it originated with those other people. But I can tell you, when I watch older clips, I can see these dancers uh, kind of fit in the shadow of a lot of those other dancers from that time. A lot of people don't give Dean Collins a lot of credit. They don't. And it's unfortunate. I, I think it's for the same reasons a lot of people don't give uh, Elvis a lot of credit or people like Eminem a lot of credit. For me, talent is just talent. Doesn't matter what, what how much melanin you have in your skin. I'm not concerned about that. <clears throat> so when I look at a style and, and the people who create the different styles and they're just bold and audacious to be open about their personality, I give credit where credit is due. And Dean Collins for me is one of those timeless influencers um, in the dance. A lot of, I don't even think he knew how much he would make an impact on dancers in the future. I think that's kind of special. I think that's special. And it's cool to see some of the styling that these two dancers had. Now, I don't know much about Samantha, but I got to tell you, I loved watching her. She had some, just her swivels. I think Blake did this quick turn, just like a vintage turn. And they go into some twists. Some people call them twists. Some people call them swivels. For me, that's regardless. But I liked how she was moving through them. Like her upper body was super quiet. I could see her legs. I love seeing that. And she did that so beautifully. Well, another thing I like too is the fact that I can learn a little bit about their personalities as I'm watching them dance. Musically, I like the way Blake kind of set the tone for the playfulness. Like he's he was dancing on a lot of the solo instruments, um, the ones that carry the melody. And of course, they were both dancing in the, the basic rhythm section on a macro level. They were both in time. But I could see more of the music because of their footwork. And that's really cool. That's not easy to do when you can you know, lead and follow and still kind of embellish the music visually with your foot patterns. And that's, that's really special. I got to tell you, too, I think it's a little uh, frustrating to this is like my first time actually seeing this kind of demo with these two dancers. And I'm sure they didn't just recently start dancing. I'm sure they've been around for a long time. But that just tells you how small the Lindy Hop community really is. You know, we got these dancers that are doing phenomenal things. That was just great what I saw. It was very unique and it was derivative in a very like respectful way, but I didn't see like a complete Dean Collins ripoff. I didn't see that. <clears throat> I didn't see that at all. But I'm sad I don't see more of these types of people kind of being acknowledged for what they do. I get it when it's a small community, you have some of the same people um, you know, that are kind of influencing the, the conversation in terms of what's good, what's not good. But what I just saw was quite phenomenal in terms of musicality and styling. So I got to give it to them. I don't, like I said, I don't get a chance to see these two dance much, but I really enjoyed that. I really enjoyed that. And I wish there were more, more opportunities for people like this who clearly can dance, can get some more recognition in a way. I'm not saying like the recognition legitimizes their dancing. Not at all. But I tell you what, if I didn't have you two, I wouldn't even be able to see what they're doing. That's what's phenomenal about it. So we got all this technology, but how do you even find people like this if they're not in places of influence um, where people can go, hey, whoa, look what they're doing. That's incredible. We need to, we need to show more of that. <laughs> anyway, I thoroughly enjoyed that. I thoroughly enjoyed that. This is kind of my favorite uh, type of 
social dance where you have teachers that get out, show what they do. I don't like teachers that don't get out there and social dance. I don't like that at all. If you got two knees, they work. If you're not in pain, I want to see some social dancing. I don't want to see cop outs. I don't see people hiding in the bar, hiding in the rooms. I like it when dancers who teach this technique and how it works get out there and at least show what you're actively working on or what you actively do. That's so important. It's so important to see people not just disengaged from the process because phase one is social dancing. If you're not social dancing, then what are you doing? What are you doing? You got to love it. And I could tell from watching them, they, did, they didn't seem scared one bit. They weren't like nervous or trying to be super safe with their movements. They clearly had the freedom that is quite native to people who generally go out social dancing and have a good time. So what did you guys think about this three minute and 23 second clip? I really enjoyed it. And I enjoyed the band too. So if you know about this band, let me know because I like to collect a lot of music from all around the world. And if they got a CD, I definitely want to buy it. Let me know what you guys thought about this welcome performance in the comment section. I got to tell you what, if you're not swing dancing, you don't know what you're missing. It is not as hard as it looks. I encourage you to check out some of my free courses below. It'll show you just how simple it can be. Uh, if you want a very streamlined approach of being able to just learn it quickly and understand what's objective versus what's subjective, I encourage you to check out my fundamentals membership. I spent thousands of hours trying to demystify this thing for you so you don't have to try to recreate the wheel. Um, just, just trust me, utilize it and then you realize that the technique is only like 25% of what we're doing. Everything else is about subjectivity and style and personal expression, which we hope you are able to feel liberated to do. So anyway, let me know what you guys thought about this presentation in the comments section. If I don't see you in my class online, hopefully I get to see your comments in the next reaction video. Take care.